Cy Hansen put on quite a display of beautiful Muay Thai action. Got mad. Don't make Cy Hansen mad. I ask what's lesson I'm taking away from this. Here oh, we I'm go. very excited for this fight. Daniel Barrera making his way to the ring right now. Moving on. This fight scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Excited about this. Daniel Barrera from Oakland, California, another Pacific Ring Sports product. Trained by Ganyao and the team there. Three and one. Coming in here, representing the blue corner. He'll be taking on that da another Dan Black product, so you know it's gonna be another great fight between these two. It's gonna be interesting, so we're getting a nice technical school and then against a Dan Black murderer, so it's gonna be another good matchup. Here we go, guys, excited. We don't doubt that this Amazing card is going to continue with more amazing fights. This next one being contested at Sauce Marley. 50 pounds. Ah, oh, see, he, he he better call him Sauce Marley or he's going to get in trouble. Right? I actually talked to his dad, and he goes, are you announcing the fight? And I said, no. He goes, make sure the announcer calls him Sauce Marley because he didn't do it last time. <laughs> yep. And so, James Sauce Marley. Weedry coming to the ring as a Y'all don't foot. mess with me. I don't want no problems. 510-301 from Brentwood, California. Team Black product. I put that on Mama. Put that on Grand C Dust. Don't call me. Get, get your man, man beat up. up. This is the most damn black song to walk out to. This is what happens when you get three guys that know each other well in the booth <laughs> together. We're having fun watching the fights. We hope you're having fun watching the fights with us back there at home on the replay. They're treating us great here at the Knockmoy Challenge. If you're watching just the replay of this, I highly re recommend not missing the next one. Yeah, if you, if this card is amazing. Three rounds of full rules, AKA Mr. Sauce Marley coming at you. We got another Black. we got another 10 year age disparity here with Sauce Marley James Quidry being uh, 10 years the younger. So we'll see another fight between uh, a little bit more uh, mature fighter as opposed to a, a younger fighter here. Both we'll these guys are very game though. Uh, I've seen Daniel Barrera fight many times, very technical, very skilled. I'm looking forward to see him in the clinch with those elbows. But uh, Sauce Marley, I've trained with that kid. He's a, he's a prodigy. He's picked it up real quick. He's only got uh, four fights on him, but he fought four fights really quickly. And Ladies you, uh, and gentlemen, let's just take a moment to say hi to Glenn Gorman here. Oh, that is a beauty. Let's say hi to Glenn Gorman, the man behind the camera, the getting great. all these shots for you back at home. The great he's double G. Poetically beautiful. G3 Productions. He's a living sonnet. Competitive fighting sports. Glenn Gorman. A fly individual. The list goes on. I don't like the guy. <laughs> you don't you don't like him? Nah. Not a fan. Yeah, neither do I. Not he paid me to say that, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I can't lie. I'm like Abraham Lincoln, like Charles's leg tattoo. <laughs> here we go. We got Matt the Butcher Baker to our right, cornering here. One another Dan Black product. Glory fighter. This is gonna be this is gonna be a good fight, fellas. Absolutely. We got 12 abs in this fight, so you know these guys are in shape. 12 abs between the two. Here we go, they touch gloves. Oh, and there's no shin guards. This is our first shin to shin fight. Ooh, we we got Ooh. these boys flying Sauce right off Marley the bat. With a good knee to the body in that clinch. We this got is gonna be a good fight. Full rules Muay Thai at 150 pounds, James. 
Sauce Ooh. Marley Quadri Good body in, the, kick by Dan Barrera. in the green and black shorts and the red gloves and the blue gloves. Daniel Barrera. I am Brandon Kyle alongside Charles the Rockstar Rodriguez, Yo. voice of champion Jim Cooley. We're here at the Knockmore Challenge, Stockton, California. And man, what a night of fights it's been. Great. Love being part of the competitive fighting sports team here, calling these fights live for you guys, watching the replay back at home. Like Charles said, if you're not here for this fight, you're watching this replay, you need to get to the next fight because it's been nothing but fire. And we are continuing with the fire in this fight so far. And it's only getting hotter every fight. Nice little jumping knee to the body by Barrera. Another big one, another big knee. He's doing another one, DJ Khalid style with the knees as well. You guys, he saw Smarley adapt. We gotta keep those hips in. Barrera's doing a good job throwing those round knees so he's that, that space isn't really deterring him. We got professional fighter Andrew Capurro from Pacific Ring cornering there. Oh, nice body. Burrow is a great fighter, by the way. Oh, love watching him fight every single time. It's going to be a show. Nice switch kick, followed up by a leg kick. Teeth kick caught. Sauce Marley hits that right hand. Marley's looked in better shape every fight I've seen him in. Yeah, looking real trim. Both these boys looking like they're ready to run a marathon. Yeah, yeah. Both these guys could be on the fight poster, and it would look great. Like I said, they're sharing 12 abs. The ring's got 12 abs in it. I don't know, maybe another two. 16. If, maybe Rinaldi's carrying a six right now. He's looking pretty trim. Oh, big uppercut. Barely misses there from. That was a show Ryukin uppercut. That was close. Close first round. Back and forth again. I am I'm very, very stunned at the, the level of competition that these that these this card has been maintaining. Because again, we have two incredibly even match gentlemen and like at any point are constantly a threat to each other. Absolutely Charles, great fights and the great fights are continuing. All right, uh, Jim, how, how many years have you known Dan Black? Oh man, uh, good Lord, I don't know, 15? About 15, what is he telling his fighter right now in the corner? What is the Dan Black method after after watching his fighter go man, through that first round? It just kind of depends, I'll be honest with you, I didn't see a lot of the first round but I'm sure he's just telling him more of the same because he looked real active. Um, telling him to probably be efficient with his energy, like I said, because he tells all his fighters that, Absolutely. as you know from training with him. Um, I don't know. I, I think he looked really good in that round. I, I think I would just tell him more of the same. All right, let me be the let me let me play a, a questionnaire. What is Andrew Capurro? What did he tell his fighter in the corner during that first? Stop getting round? your leg caught. I think he wants him in the clinch. Capurro's got a nasty clinch, and so does Barrera. And both of them, they, I didn't see uh, Sauce Marley getting to do much damage in there, so I feel like it's a safe place for him. Might be Charles. Let's see if he takes that advice here. Barrera taking a couple nice leg kicks from Quadri. That kick still landed on uh, Mr. Marley's arms. That's still scoring and still doing damage. Nice, another little jump in knee technique. It looks like Sauce is more focused on off balancing than landing knees, but he needs to switch that game up because Barrera. Oh, Ooh, big that uppercut elbow. elbow. Barrera coming forward, landed to oh, that little clinch knee like you were calling for. Oh, nice barrage Good of hands. From from Quadri, James Quadri in the red gloves. Ooh, leg, leg kick, kick spun him around. around. Yeah. Hit him with the 360. And Guidry's Good got check. small legs, man. He can't take a lot of those. I mean, they're strong legs, obviously, but. Ooh, double tap on that. Yeah, left. you can see uh, the, Look the, at that, the, bruising. Mark, the marking yeah. on Quidry's left leg. He switched stances, actually. Watching those alternating kicks from Barrera is really showing his uh, his experience here. Barrera is very quick tonight with those quick, those switch kicks, especially. It's like some sort of Barrera barrage going on. Guidry's going to have to gonna have to turn southpaw and stay Bar there. Barrera hitting him with the Beretta yeah. barrage. <laughs> He's gonna have to stay southpaw because that leg is in a lot of trouble. Oh, let's see if- uh, Barrera if, knows it. If Sauce Marley can figure something out to stop this I've, knee and kick attack of, of Barrera here. Looks like he said knee for knee, baby. Now Sauce can do a, has a good southpaw, so going there is not a last resort for him. But I would like right. to see him utilize him more. He's gonna. I, I think he's got to stay there for a while. I just that leg, and you know as well as anyone, being a Muay Thai fighter, the longer this fight goes on, the more that leg's gonna start oh, to yeah. hurt. 
Even if he doesn't kick it anymore, the you, pain's just going to slowly you, creep in. You go ahead and say it, Jim. As a guy who doesn't check enough, <laughs> I know the pain, yes. <laughs> yeah. As many uh, leg kicks as you don't check, you've, land, <laughs> you've landed, though. So you know both sides of the coin there, uh, yes, exactly. You've won listen, fights off of leg kicks alone. Listen, I'm already in danger from DJ Robertson. I'm not going to make you mad, too. <laughs> I don't know if Charles gets mad. He just gets even. I was about to make it right. See, I'm smart, though. I went in, in during intermission. I went over and told DJ everything I said. I said, that was funny, huh? That was funny, huh? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a funny guy. <laughs> jokes, jokes is what I tell. Remember that word, joke. <laughs> Don't kill me. Here we go. Sauce Marley still on the bench. Speaking here. of RBL Posse. There you go. There's your boy, Jim. Black C. All right, we got Who, the by the way, round. trains with, with Team Black. Here we go. Third and final round of this fight between Daniel Barrera and the Blue Gloves. Woo. I can't Ooh, tell if Guidry's slipping or he's getting caught. I think he's slipping. That I'm, I'm watching a lot of people's feet slide on this canvas. Guidry, yeah, you know, he's really coming forward now, though, with those punches. I think Dan, a little bit of fire under him and let him know he's got to win this round if he wants to win this fight. Yeah, I, I think he lost round number two for sure. I did not see enough of round number one, to be perfectly honest. I don't know who won that round. I'd say the round one was pretty even. It was back and forth. Could have been either way. This round might be the difference right now. I was saying, I know uh, Mr. Godry. Mr. Sauce Marley, he's got a big heart, so you're not going to see him slow down that third round, so he might be able to scrap his way through it. And but Barrera's like a wall right now. Yeah, Barrera needs to take this opportunity when he can to knee that same leg elbows, that he's been elbows. kicking right there. I like that Barrera's using all eight limbs. Elbows, yes, sir. knees, punches, kicks. He's, he's getting really, the full spider. That was a good right elbow. He's really landing. Gidry's in a bad spot here. He's got to spin out of this. So luckily, the tape kind of helped him separate. He's got the leg, nice right hand. Kidry's hands are always going to be a always going to be a problem for Barrera. Barrera's kicks are really, really showing themselves here. Those shins are just going left and right, left and right. Quidry looks perplexed. Oh man! He looks Beautiful perplexed in there. He looks like he's not sure what he needs to do. Now so he's throwing haymakers. Caution to the wind, I, I guess. Say, at this me. point in the fight, you'll I'm, never, never see him without heart. No, nah, he's not going to give up. Beautiful leg kick. And right now, he's probably in his head saying, I got to knock this guy out, so I might as well throw some big shots. And you know what? That might not be a bad idea, Jim. No, not at all. Burris looks like he's going to take a couple deep breaths and aim for the head again. Man, the inside and the outside of that leg just Ooh. showing the wear and tear. Oh, yeah, he's feeling it right now, but he's not quitting. But, man, you no. know he is feeling the effects of that leg kick. Sauce Barrera's, Marley's a beast. Oh, absolutely. But uh, Dan Barrera's experience and technique yeah. is just unwavering. And I'll tell you what, it was Barrera's night tonight. Absolutely. Sometimes well, that just happens, man. Sometimes it's just the other guy's night. And Barrera looked phenomenal tonight. I loved the way he was working the inside and the outside of that same leg. His yeah. kicks were yes. everywhere. Anytime he had an opportunity to hit it, he did. The second that you saw Marley switch, he was right on that leg again, and Marley would yeah, have to go back to Southpaw. Yeah. But you knew with the Fu Manchu beard like uh, Barrera's <laughs> wearing, he was going to be patient, knowledgeable, philosophical almost. Almost high May -ish. in there. Almost. <laughs> I can't wait till he can grow it long enough to throw over his shoulder after a victory. I know it's coming. Like if you if you ever doubt his experience, you, you can here's see it some, on his face. Here's some fun Jim Cooley facts. I got both a Christmas text and a Happy New Year text from MC Hammer this year. What? That's right. Oh, oh the life oh, you as, must live. As Hammer, as Hammer is is playing in the background. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm that's why I'm telling you. Jim Cooley, if you're a Bay Area rap legend. And you haven't hung out with Jim Cooley yet. What You're not you? a Bay Area rap legend. What's going on? Clyde Carson. What's going Jay on? Jay Diggs. What's all going of them. on? Man, that leg looks tore up. He's going to get the limp with pride. He, he, fought, a, he fought a seasoned vet. Wow. So I got to believe that the one round that the judges gave him had to be the first round, the one be. I missed, because I feel he lost second and third for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, that was a very competitive round that first round, so po probably that's what they gave him there. And I want to say it's been an honor to uh, commentate with you guys. I'm going to get out of here tonight and leave it to you two to finish out the show. Enjoy the main event. The rock star and, of course, my boy Brandon right here. Always a pleasure, Jim. Yep, absolutely. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us, Jim. That was uh, the voice of champions, Jim Cooley, making his way. Absolute honor, bro. Thank you so much. Hey, man.